This is important. This is important. I, and I, I want to add, but if, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm speaking. It is asking too much of the people. Susan, we talk no, about it is asking yes. too much of the people. Well, Susan, uh, thank you. Although I would like to go back. I, I to, think we need uh, to move on well, to the thank issue you, of... But I would like to go back. In 1864... Well, I'd like you to answer the question. No, Mr. Yes. Vice President, I'm Please. speaking. Please. I'm speaking. Okay. We thank still you, learn President. from it. And I, I think Vice the American President people, I want to say again, can be Vice proud President Pence, I'm sorry, of what we have done. She has... 15 she, seconds, because well, I gotta we're trying to keep... That. Look, well, you, I'm sorry, but Vice President Pence, you've had more time than she's had. The truth and the fact is, Joe Biden has been very clear... He will not raise taxes on anybody who makes less than four hundred thousand dollars a year. He said he's going to repeal the Trump tax cuts. Uh, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. Well, wait, wait. I'm speaking. If you don't mind letting me finish, we can Please. then have a conversation. Okay? Please. Okay. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. I will not sit here and be lectured by the Vice President on what it means to enforce the laws of our country. I am the only one on this stage who has personally prosecuted everything from child sexual assault to homicide. I'm the only one on this stage who has prosecuted the big banks for taking advantage of America's homeowners. I'm the only one on this stage who prosecuted for profit colleges for taking advantage of our veterans. And the reality of this is that we are talking about an election in 27 days where last week the President of the United States took a debate stage in front of 70 million Americans and refused to condemn white supremacists. And it wasn't like he didn't have a chance. He didn't do it, and then he doubled down. And then he said, when pressed, stand back, stand by. And this is a part of a pattern of Donald Trump's. You, he, was, he called Mexicans rapists and criminals. He instituted as his first act a Muslim ban, he on the issue of Charlottesville, where people were peacefully protesting the need for racial justice, where a young woman was killed. And on the other side, there were neo-Nazis carrying tiki torches, shouting racial epithets, anti-Semitic slurs. And Donald Trump, when asked about it, said, there were fine people on both sides. This is who we have as the president Susan, of the United Susan, States. And America, Susan. you deserve better. Joe Biden will be a president who brings our country together. Senator Harris. And, and, and recognizes the beauty in our diversity and the fact Senator that we all Harris, have so you. much more in common than what separates us. To the men and women who serve in law enforcement. <laughs>
President Trump. Vice President Speaker. Trump speak. Trump speak. Trump speak. Trump. Trump, speak, Trump, speak, Trump. Ooh, this motherfucker playing with me. Mr. 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 Vice President speaking. Speaking. Democrat Senator Harris. Speaking. Democrat Senator Harris. Speaking. Democrat Senator Harris. Speaking. Speaking. Democrat Senator Harris. Speaking. Speaking. Democrat Senator Harris. Speaking. Is is a great insult. Speaking. 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 Spe